I almost just stepped on a big red belly black snake back there. Scared the living daylights out of me. What the hell was it doing out in winter time? But anyway, if you're struggling with chronic pain or chronic fatigue, there is a profound lesson from that experience. So bear with me as I catch my breath and talk about snakes. So did that snake cause my fear? It didn't. My brain triggered the fear. Real fear, real physiological fear. But it was my brain that triggered it. The snake did not cause it. What happened was my brain received input and then cross-referenced that with past experience. What do I know about this? What's this like? When have I experienced this before? And so your brain makes meaning of the present moment by looking at past experience and belief systems. And in that situation, ultimately, my brain decided there was enough credible evidence to warrant a protection response, and so it triggered fear. Thanks, brain. But it's a really profound concept, just generally, to consider that nothing can cause fear. Only one thing can trigger it, our brains. Now, if you can appreciate that concept, that directly transfers across to what we know about all pain and all fatigue. So what happens is the brain takes in information from the body and the environment and it cross-references it with past experience and belief systems and it makes meaning of the present moment and tries to decide whether I'm safe. And if there's enough credible evidence to warrant triggering pain or fatigue, then the brain will trigger pain or fatigue. Nothing in the body can cause pain the brain can trigger it no amount of activity can cause fatigue the brain can trigger it and so the question to ask is not whether the pain or fatigue is real or psychological that is so outdated it's so irrelevant it is so silly the question to ask is is the pain or fatigue being triggered by the brain appropriate or not and when it comes to chronic pain and chronic fatigue, we know that changes have taken place in the brain and nervous system, and so the brain is just too good at triggering pain or fatigue. And of course, pain and fatigue experiences aren't conscious processes. They're happening unconsciously, so you're not directly involved with the outcome, pain or fatigue. But here's the profound thing. You can be involved. You can learn skills and knowledge to directly influence how the brain processes the information and so you can retrain your brain and nervous system not to trigger pain or fatigue. And that is so profound and that is so exciting and it frustrates me sometimes when people get caught up in the is it real, is it psychological? It is always real. The question to ask is, is it appropriate? Now, of course, we want pain we want fatigue. We want fear. We just want a brain and nervous system that's triggering that appropriately. And that is the nature of my work. How do we retrain a brain and nervous system to stop triggering pain and fatigue unnecessarily? So I hope that that is a useful and profound concept to take on board. Thank you, Snake. I'm going to keep on running.